We just slipped the lines and we're leaving Crab Creek. Over the next couple of days, we're going to make our way up the Great Sandy Strait and spend a couple of weeks in the Thumper Creek on Fraser Island. It's late afternoon and we've just arrived at Gary's Anchorage for an overnight stay. We're leaving Gary's Anchorage this morning and heading to Big Woody Island, which is in the northern end of the Great Sandy Straits, just before you get into Harvey Bay. We're leaving via the northern entrance to Gary's Anchorage, and this is Stewart Island on the left, with lots of holiday homes on it. These small islands, Duck and Picnic, are not far south of Big Woody Island. We arrive at Big Woody late afternoon. It's a beautiful morning and we're hoping for a bit more wind than we had yesterday. We're just passing Moon Point. And there's no wind.
have a little bit of wind to help us along. Unfortunately, there's no fish today. We've just reached the mouth of the Thumber Creek. It's right on high tide, and we're going to use the track on our chart plotter from last year. We hope the channel hasn't changed too much. So far, it looks good. The channel has definitely changed and it looks like we're going to have to go through some shallow water. Luckily, Belize only draws about 0.7 of a metre, so we have enough under our keel. It's very difficult to judge the depth from where I'm standing, but luckily the skipper's got a depth sounder. I'm on the lookout for logs and there's one over there. Well that was a bit hairy. We made it. The water is always such a magnificent colour here. It's like floating in a swimming pool, very inviting. We've got our anchors down and the tide's on the way out. The 
Can you see the whiting? In the late afternoon, we noticed these two dingoes on the beach. They were young males and looked in really good condition. We came ashore to watch the sunset. One left and the other one followed us. It's low tide and we're going for a walk to see if we can find the channel. And here it is. It's further south than last year. Will is recording some GPS points now. We came across a couple of sea hares stranded on the beach, so we put them back in the water. A little sea hare. Oh, he's happy again now. Off he goes. The dingoes showed up again in the late afternoon. Such a beautiful day. Not another boat in sight except for one. We met the people off this boat yesterday and they're down walking right down the other end of the beach. It's sunny down there. But this is it today, just us. How beautiful. And Will's up the beach flying the drone. and it's low tide. These guys are all congregated around the life-saving water. A 
they don't want to dry out on the beach. Solar panels are really putting the power in today. They're great. There's Mo. The tide's on the way in. And it's always in a hurry. A couple of dingoes howling. The tide's come in far enough for us to take Mo over to the campgrounds. We're going to get some water. There's a little creek right at the mouth of Wathumba and we're just going in to investigate. It's not high tide yet so we probably won't be able to go very far in. It's a great place for kayaking or paddle boards. Nice and sheltered from the wind. There's fresh water available for the campers here. It's not recommended for drinking. Although if you boiled it, I'm sure it'd be fine. We're going to use it for washing and washing up and having a bath. We're just going to fill up our water bottles. And there's the top. In the bush.
The next morning we had a visit from one of the dingoes. Oh, they're, they're howling. Can you hear them? <laughs> We're a bit boring. There's been a lot of mullet washed up on the beach and it's attracted a lot of dingoes. We don't normally see this many dingoes when we're at Wathumba. Nice to see them in good condition, well fed. The water is very clean and clear, but it's stained by tannin from the vegetation. I've seen the dingoes stop and have a drink at this time of the tide. It's a really low tide. This is the main channel there, over to this side. on that one. He was completely covered by sand except for his tail sticking out. Luckily I saw it. Nearly every day on our walk, we meet a couple of dingoes. of a pandanus grove here. More mangroves. A bit of a dingo thoroughfare. Beautiful big fig tree. Look at that. Lots of midgem, no flowers. Springtime they'll come. Beautiful mangroves. Quite windy today. Oh, there's Will. At high tide, these are all covered in water. Wow. 
They have an amazing root structure. One more mullet left. They haven't eaten them all. Another one. And another one. Hello, Mr. Dingo, you've been into mischief. Mm. Yeah, here's a mischievous one. Been up into people's boats. Yeah. You come to check our boat out. Yeah. Here's the proof. I got a couple of shots of him in somebody's boat earlier in the day. This will be our last day here and tomorrow morning we'll be heading back down the Great Sandy Straits.